In this video, I'm going to show you how to use NPM private modules. NPM private modules make it possible for you to publish your private code up to the same registry that hosts modules like Express and Grunt and Gulp. So this makes it possible for you to use the same tools that you use for interacting with those public modules for your own private code, the code that you want to keep internal to your own team. So I'll show you how you can publish private modules, and then I'll show you how you can install that private module. Before I show you how to publish, I need to tell you a little bit about scopes. Scopes are a new part of NPM. If you've seen a package name that begins with an at sign and has a slash in the middle of it, that's a scoped package. And the part from the at sign to the slash, that is the scope. It's basically a namespace for the package. When you sign up for NPM private modules as an individual user, your scope is your username. Private modules have to be scoped. You can't publish a private module that doesn't have a scope in the package name. But scoped packages don't have to be private. You can also have public scoped packages. One thing to note is that when you publish a scoped package for the first time, it will assume that you want this to be a private package. And NPM assumes that because we want to make sure that people aren't leaking private code or code that's meant to be private on their first publish. If you do want this scoped package to be public though, you can use the access flag to set it to public. You're gonna need a newish version of the npm command line in order to work with scopes. And you're also going to need to log out and log in again. If you try to publish a module privately and you aren't signed up for npm private modules, then you'll get this error. So go to the website and sign up for private modules if you haven't already. Now that you've signed up, you can create a scoped package, and you can do this using npm init and the scope flag. If you're going to be using the same scope a lot, you can actually set this in your config that npm reads every time it runs a command. Once you've done this, you can open up your package.json file, and you'll see that your package name has a scope in it. This is all that needs to be in place for you to publish your private package, and you can just use npm publish to do that. When you go to the website, you'll see your package and you'll see that it has the private flag next to it. You'll also see in your sidebar that there's a section called collaborators. When you click on the plus button, this will get you to the access page. And here you can add collaborators and change the access that those collaborators have. For someone to have access to your module, they need to be a paid user of NPM private modules and they also need to have at least read access to your package. So go ahead and add them as a collaborator and toggle the permission if you'd like to. Then on their machine, they should be able to install the package. And when they're requiring the package, they just need to include the full scoped package name. So that's how you work with NPM private modules. If you run into any problems while you're working with private modules, please do get in touch with our support team. You can reach them via Twitter or via email. We'd also love to hear your stories about how you're using private modules to make your development workflow easier, whether you're working as an individual or on a team. So please do get in touch with those stories as well.